This man can do 50 pull-ups in a row and his explosive muscle-ups just chopped my mind. Today let's talk about Godfather of Street Workout, a man who for many years set a trend and showed athletes around the world what the body is capable of with proper training on the bars. As always, I personally contacted Yete to find out where he has disappeared to, how he is training now and asked about the development of street workout in general and about his iconic records. Well, as usual, friends, enjoy my Ukrainian accent and let's get started. For those who do not know who Zev is, I'll try to summarize. He's an athlete who is somewhat similar to Tupac, who, by the way, performed under the pseudonym of Markavelli. Now I think you understand who was inspired by such a pseudonym. Zev started his calisthenics training way before it became mainstream in the cis countries. This is the same man who was one of the first, if not the first, who managed to pull up on camera 50 times and then invented and implemented such a complex as God said. That is when you pull up 50 50 times on a bar, then immediately without jumping out, do a muscle up and then perform another 50 push ups from the bar. Now there are already athletes who are able to repeat this and in some cases even improve, like Maxim Truhanovic, who besides of push ups did 50 muscle ups, but Zekavelli was the first who did it and his results were held long, which once again confirms the fact that the level of these athletes at that time was in a completely different galaxy. And even in 2021, just to understand if Zef is still in a great shape, he set himself a goal to do 50 clean pull-ups again. And as you can guess, he successfully did it again. And even at 50 years, Zef says that he plans to be able to do it, because it is extremely important not just to talk about what you did once, but be able to do it here and now, without excusing yourself by age or other circumstances. By the way, you may have seen top athletes around the world trying to perform explosive muscle-ups. Zef was the first athlete in the world who performed a full repetition within one second. Well, I think we have figured out who Zef is. Now let's talk about where he is now and how he is training. After contacting the athlete personally, the first thing I asked is what is the difference between Zef Zekavelli from 2011 and now. The athlete is 45 years old and the answer was quite expected. Zef says that he is more focused on helping others than on improving his own skills. He has already proved everything to everyone, including himself. Regardless, he still plans to return to some of the elements next season and even start learning new ones. But the elements are not what he is famous for. His superpower has always been stamina. And Zef is the man who has never sacrificed the quality of a movement for the sake of the result. He says that when you work on a timer, the body resists and always tries to take the easier path, which is why it is so difficult to perform endless complexes in pure form. A good example, by the way, was 2012, when Zef visited Ukraine, where set the record in pulling up with weights. And while the best athletes tried to beat each other's results, Zevzekaveli decided to do the opposite and show the best quality, pulling up as high and controlled as possible. I do not remember who did the most pulling then, but Zev results, as you can see, has not faded from the memory to this day. Actually, thanks to his base, there was a progress in the elements too. Zekaveli has no problems with holding the planche, front lever and other static holds. He does it in a very pure form, but he never thought of setting records in these movements. According to him, if he strongly wanted, he would do it without problems. The most difficult basic set to perform, as I have already mentioned above, was the gut set. After all, even just to pull up 50 times, it is not easy task, especially if you do it cleanly. And leaving the strength for muscle up and push ups without getting off the bar task for the elite, even in our time. According to Zekavelli, when he completed this complex, everything else did not seem so difficult. But such endurance does not come by itself, of course. You had to train hard and persistently. Nowadays, one three hour workout a week is enough to tone up his body in winter, but in summer, he trains three, four, Four times a week and the workouts themselves last for about four to five hours. Zev says that calisthenics is growing more and more in the United States and the only thing that separates it from the real professional sports is the money component. Now only a few athletes are able to make a career out of it. It needs more official competitors and championships. But anyway, the main goal of calisthenics is not records and money. Yes, of course, they allow you to involve new people in sports and make you admire the results of others, but the basic 
characteristics of calisthenics has always been health. Zef explained it to me this way. When you want to breathe, you just breathe. No one makes you do it. When you want to eat, you eat. Food makes you stronger, which gives you the opportunity to look for new food with greater efficiency. This may sound primitive, but with training it is exactly the same. If you do not make yourself go to training and do not turn it into a lifestyle, health sooner or later will play a cruel joke on you. Zef often sees people who are exactly the same age as he is, but who do not do anything, and he says you wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Yo, calisthenic versus weights, bruh. Is is one wrong? Just is like one that? nah? Just like yeah, that. just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Literally, just like that. Why is it that if they see a person who does calisthenics lift weight, like the calisthenic cult, like mentality is, yo, what are you doing? You're gonna kill yourself. You're messing up your joints. How do you feel about that? Like people who do calisthenics dabble in weights. I feel like that's a good idea. Yeah. Do you, I'm asking, like, what's your oh, yeah, what's yeah. your take I, on I that? I feel like you should do both. You should always do both. Y'all heard it here first. That's it. Video done. Help this wealth get money. Make sure you smash. If you you're going, if you're going <laughs> to stick, if you're going to stick to one, stick to calisthenics, though. All right, there. We, okay, right. there we go. If you're that, doing weights, you I gotta think, do calisthenics. I think that. I think that's not the other way around. You can't just do weights. I'll see you in a couple years. If everybody who just does weights, I'll see you in a couple years. See you couple years man and see me <laughs> 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 yeah, see me that way. Well, if you like my videos, then give it a like and subscribe to my channel to see more cool videos. All the links will be in the description. So, see you soon and goodbye.